alongside you Kitty Cutting You Deep. I am AJ Vatone. Tonight's oh, matchup is between the home team, the Vandalettes of Vero we Beach, and the Rockabilly Rebels from Lakeland, Florida. Now, Kitty Cut You Deep, what can we expect to see tonight between Lakeland and Vero Beach? I think you're going to see a lot of fast skating and a lot of hard hitting. I think there are two very competitive teams, so I think it's going to be a really great bout. And what players should we be looking out for tonight? Any jammers, any blockers in particular? I think as far as jammers, I think you really need to watch the eye candy and bash and carry. They're going to do some damage, I think, against Lakeland. Um, I, I'm not sure too much about Lakeland. It's my first time kind of seeing Lakeland. I've heard some stories. As far as blockers, I know Astronom Colt's really good. And Double D's, I've, you know, I know she's going to lay some pretty big hits tonight, too. It should be a good bout. All right, well, folks, don't you go anywhere because coming up, Right after this, we're going to have tonight's matchup between Vero Beach and Lakeland right here from the State Factory in Vero Beach, Florida. Don't move a muscle. The action begins right after this. Back everyone, I'm here with Bo Decker, the coach, of course, of Lakeland. And right off the bat, let's discuss the strategy heading into tonight's matchup with Vero Beach. What do we should look forward to tonight? Uh, we're going to try to play a lot more strategy this time. We just came off a bout against Jacksonville, so we definitely learned a lot from them. They've been a team for five years, WAFTA team, really great girls. So we're taking what we learned from them last night and trying to apply it here. So. Are there any girls on this team from Vero Beach, any jammers, any blockers that right now are sticking out that you're saying, you know, we have to pay close attention to so-and-so? Uh, no, we've heard that they have a lot of fast jammers and definitely some speed skaters in, the, in their history, so that's things we're definitely looking for as blockers, setting some things up to keep them from using that speed against us. So. And who should we be looking for on your team that could be a standout tonight? Any jammer, any blocker that's a star to watch for tonight's game? Um, well, I play one of the blockers that's won a lot of the MVPs, and we also got uh, Shada Dekilia. She kind of looks like Snooki tonight as a joke. And uh, our other, our captain, Cameron Chaos, is also one of the one of our better jammers too. So she'll be definitely interesting and put on a really good show tonight. Coach, thank you very much, and good luck to you tonight. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Cherry Charger, the coach of the Vero Beach Vandalettes. And, Cherry, let's just start right off the bat by telling me what type of strategy is going to be going into tonight's matchup against the team from Lakeland. Honestly, it's really just keeping it close to the basics, just uh, holding on to those very basic strategies, and I think that's works best for us for the most part. So we have not a, a lot of new players. It's a new league, and uh, we don't want to do anything too complicated right away, so just sticking to the basics. And from what you know of this team from Lakeland, anything that you're going to have surprise-wise? I mean, do they have any jammers that stick out right now that you're definitely going to have to keep an eye on? No, not really. I hear there's uh, one blocker we're going to have to watch. That's uh, number 10, Bo Decker, I think. So we'll have to, we'll have to watch her. So, but I'm not concerned. And lastly, who would be the star to watch from your team tonight? Uh, we have two star jammers, uh, first one being Bash and Carry, and the second one being uh, Eye Candy. They're both ex-speed skaters, so uh, you're going to have to watch them closely because they're pretty fast. Thank you very much, Cherry Charger. We appreciate that, and good luck tonight. No everyone to the Skate Factory in Vero Beach, Florida for tonight's contest between the Vero Beach Vandalettes and the Lakeland Derby Dames. They call themselves the Rockabilly Rebels from Lakeland, Florida. This is going to be a good matchup tonight. We have basically a team that is two and one, maybe the Vero Beach Vandalettes, the home team, and then of course a team that is one and four, the team from Lakeland. So basically it's going to be a a fairly decent matchup tonight. Just so you know, both of these teams have really only been playing since right around September. Both of them are relatively new. They've only been around for like a year or less. Uh, some of these girls have played elsewhere, but uh, for the most part, some of these girls are, of course, newbies. They are some brand new players, of course, heading into tonight's contest. So you're going to see a lot of veterans, obviously, but more so you're going to see probably more rookies. So this should be a lot of fun tonight. Number four, Casey Vincent. Number 
everyone to the Skate Factory in Vero Beach, Florida, alongside my broadcast partner, Kitty Cut You Deep. I am A.J. Vatone. Tonight's contest will be between the Rockabilly Rebels of Lakeland, Florida, visiting the home team, the Vandalettes of Vero Beach. And Kitty, what exactly can we expect from tonight's matchup? This is pretty much two evenly matched teams, is it not? Yeah, pretty evenly matched. I think you're going to see a lot of hard hits and a lot of fast skating. It's going to be a high-scoring game, I think, between the both of them. It should be a good bout. 
Now, Kitty, just so the folks know out there, you're from the South Florida Roller Girls, which are located in Fort Pierce, Florida. Have you played against a lot of these girls that we'll be seeing here tonight? And if so, how many of these girls right now should we be looking for to become stars in tonight's game, for example? Well, um, South Florida hasn't actually played against Lakeland, so this is actually the first time we get to see them skate. But um, the Vero Beach team, we've had a couple scrimmages with, and we've skated a couple against, a couple, excuse me, against a couple of their girls. Um, I think the ones you need to watch from Vero are Eye Candy. She's pretty quick on her mm -hmm. skates and very fast. And Bash and Carry is another one. She can take solid hits and give solid hits, and she's quick on her feet. It'll be a good bout. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We are looking forward to it. And, and just so you know, the Vero Beach Vandalettes have only been playing since pretty much, you know, right around September for this particular season. So there's only about three matches already in the books. And uh, right now they are two and one. I believe the Lakeland team is one and four. So uh, fairly evenly matched. I mean, both teams haven't played too terribly much up until this point. So, uh, you know, we can expect, obviously, to see pretty much, if you think about it, uh, a very good matchup tonight between both of these clubs. The first whistle, folks, has already been blown here at the Skate Factory in Vero Beach, Florida. This will be a demo. This will be a nice demo, a little just to let the crowd know what's going on. Mm -hmm. They'll kind of explain the rules and let you know when the jammers go through, when they score points, and just a beginner of how to and what's, what Derby's all about. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, is always a good thing and uh, very important for any uh, first-time, if you will, fan coming to the Skate Factory and taking this all in, consuming it for the very first time. They get the opportunity before each and every match to learn the rules. So therefore, they know exactly what to expect come game time. The jammers, of course, Kitty, are the ones we need to remind people that have the stars on their helmets. So folks at home, if you see a star on a helmet, you will know right away that is your jammer. Now we're going to have two 30-minute halves broken into shifts, of course, that are called jams. Uh, the group of eight players at front is the pack, and then the pack consists of blockers, and then behind the pack are the two jammers, and like I had just said, mm -hmm. those would be the ones, oh, of course, Harry's got Lee Jam. with the That's star good. helmet. And So that's Bash and Carry from Vero. She's got lead yep. jam. Oh, nice. And we are underway, nice. Kitty. And like you just said, and the jam is called off. Nice. The jam is called off. Now Bash and Carry called that jam off early. She didn't give the other team a chance to score those points. So that's a good five points for her right off the bat. All right, we believe it to be 4-1 right now, Vero Beach. 4-1 after that uh, first jam. Whoa! Oh. Huge collision right there. Shado to kill you was involved in that particular collision right before... Uh, Oh, look. Oh, nice from Kelly. Mm -hmm. Nice block on the jammer. Oh, oh. Double D seems to be falling down quite often, folks. All right, the jam nice. is officially over, Kitty. Exactly what did we see right there? Describe us. Right there, what the happened? actual, the Rockabilly Jammer didn't get through once. Actually, they didn't get to score any points. Mm -hmm. um, the Vero Beach Vandalettes actually had the uh, additional four points. Okay. She got lead jam and was able to call it off, giving the Rockabillies no chance to score at all. So it was gotcha. good strategic play. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Good, good strategy and play here tonight at the Skate Factory in Vero Beach. Once again, tonight's matchup is between the Rockabilly Rebels of Lakeland, Florida, 
They are in the red jerseys, and then, of course, the Vandalettes of Vero Beach in the black jerseys. Oh, nice hit. High candy is down. Oh, and there goes eye oh. candy right. Oh, oh, going on the inside. Struggling a little bit. She's so making jammer. Yeah, she's making her way to the front, having a little bit of difficulty. Nice. There goes eye candy. Eye candy making her way to the front of the pack. Only oh, one person to beat, jam. and she does it. She got lead jam. Eye candy. Captures the jam. Oh, nice. And see the Vero Beach blocker back here, so the jammer has to come back to her because she knocked her out of bounds. Oh, gotcha. It's called stealing real estate. Can't, <laughs> can't be stealing real estate. That's against the law. No pack. They got to pack it up. There's no pack at the moment. Mm -hmm. Wow. Lakeland's struggling a little bit to get through the pack. And Eye Candy, of course, just calling off that jam right there that you were just watching. 6-1 at the moment is your score. That is now going to be 10-1, Vero Beach. Just about 26 minutes or so left in this particular half. 10-1, like I said, is your score. Vero Beach ahead. What are you seeing so far, Kitty, from this Vero Beach team that uh, obviously bodes well right now with the score that we're looking at, which, of course, is 10-1 in their favor? Yeah, they are definitely giving the their blocker a hard time. Lakeland's blocker a hard time getting through. They've got really good walls, and they're making really good contact with their blocks. Um, I think right here, Bastion Carey's got lead jam, and she's got Lakeland jammer right on her hind end right there coming up. If she can get through and get the points where the other girl can, yep, she called it off. That means oh. that neither one of them got any points. So there you have it. Thank you, Kitty. No points at all during that particular jam. The jammer, of course, was Bastion Carey, who called it off. So zero points. Thirty seconds, correct? After the jam ends, obviously that you have yes. to prepare. Mm -hmm. Thirty seconds till the first whistle's blown, mm -hmm. and then the blockers go all over the line, the pivot line, mm -hmm. and then the second whistle is for when the jammers time to go. The second whistle's blown when the last blocker goes over that pivot line. Is when the second whistle's blown. Gotcha. Oh, look, she's going up. Oh, oh, oh! Whoa! Nice. Skating out of bounds right oh, there. Oh, none of the jammers have gotten through yet, so nobody's gotten lead jam. M14. They're struggling a little bit. Oh, first time tonight. Lakeland's got lead jam. Cam, Ram, Chaos with the lead jam right now for Lakeland. She is number M14. That's M as in Mary, 1 4, if you're watching this at home and trying to pick up the numbers on your screen. Sometimes they can be difficult to read, but. That's why the nicknames are more important. And speaking of Cam Ram Chaos, she has officially called off that jam. She points. She scored like two points on that, I believe. Yeah, po points were racked up for uh, Lakeland in that particular jam. Oh, eye candy on the line again. Ah, oh, three points. So 11 to 4 right now, folks, is your score. Vero Beach over Lakeland. Lakeland, of course, racking up a couple of points on that last particular jam. So, like I said, now it's 11 4, Vero. Your second whistle has been blown. We've got ourselves action. Nice, I can got I can. In the lead again. We've seen this a bunch of times already. Kitty, I think we'll see it a bunch of times more. I think so, too. Eye candy is oh. good. Calling off the jam. Down goes the ref. But eye candy calls off the jam. I don't think we've seen a two-minute jam at all. All no, the jammers I, have called it off. Exactly. Yeah, nice. I know. That's a, Full control. Yep. No two-minute jam like Kitty just said up until this point. All the jams have been called off by the lead jammers right up until this point. 
14-5 right now is your score currently. Vero Passion carry out of Lakeland. Line. Second whistle is off. We've got action. Nice. Here we go again. Nice. They're struggling getting through. Here comes a hit. Oh. Oh. They're trying to break up the pack. Not successful, though. Bastion Carey obviously far out in front. Master Kate was called on a penalty for hitting out of the pack. Mm -hmm. well, there's our so first Vero, penalty of the night. Yep, Vero's got one blocker in the box. Lakeland's jammers having a hard time, can't get through. I've been noticing that as well, mm -hmm. Kitty, absolutely. They have been oh. having a difficult time. Nice. And Bastion Carey calls off the jam right there. Why, Kitty, is there so much difficulty as of right now getting through, if you will, and doing the, the appropriate uh, blocking necessary for Lakeland? Yeah. I, I think that they're, or the Vero Jammers are very good on their skates. They're able to get through the walls. Lakeland needs to wall up better and, and skate next to each other. They're kind of breaking it up and not keeping pace with each other. They're not working as a team, but it's still early. So it, it'll be um, as long as they can wall up and get in front of those jammers. They have a chance, but Vero's jammers are doing a really good job. And it's never a good thing, Kitty, to obviously leave too much daylight out there, obviously, yeah. for your oh. opponents, because like you just said. Yep, Lakeland got lead jam on that yep. one. Oh, nice hits. Lakeland now ahead with the lead jammer. That was a nice hit on Lakeland's part. Shell Bizzle for Shizzle, who is BR. B is in boy, R is in Robert. 3 2 was your lead jammer. The jam has now been called off. It's a nice couple hits there on Lakeland's mm -hmm. side. Laying out on um, Vero's jammer, it was Def pretty nice. Definitely a nice, uh, nice skate for uh, Shell Bizzle Fajizzle, <laughs> who was yeah. uh, saying something to the referee or was saying something to the referee just a couple of minutes ago. What possibly, Kitty, could she have been saying to the ref after that particular jam? I think she was concerned about getting a uh, hit out of play. Mm -hmm. I think that's what her concern was. But um, you know, ref didn't see it that time. Right. But here we got eye candy coming through. Oh, on one skate, nice wow. job. Eye nice. candy, smooth as silk, eye yeah. candy. Way out in front, kids. She is definitely the star jammer of this Vero Beach team. No end of horse butts about it. Making her way through the pack again with the greatest of ease. Nice. 25-6 at the moment is your score. Vero Beach ahead, 25-6. to six. Got a Vero blocker in the box. Bash and carry on the line. And looks like Dixie Chopper for Lakeland on the line for jamming. Ooh, 36. That's right, 30 to 6 right now is your official score. Vero Beach ahead. The second whistle has blown. The second whistle has blown. We've got action right now in front nice. of us. And that should carry out in front. Oh, she is your struggling trying to get through. Wow. That should carry having no problems whatsoever here. Another five points. Points are being scored with the greatest of ease, like I had said a few moments ago. Bash and Carey doing some work here in this particular jam, making it look easy nice. for Vero Beach.
Uh, the jam is officially over, folks. We'll find out our score momentarily. Another nice jam if you're bashing carry, Kitty. Oh, yeah. It's a five-point jam if you're scoring at home, and I know you are because you're that kind of person. It's 35-6 to six right now. Vero Beach ahead of Lakeland. 35 to six, we got about 17 minutes to go here in this first half of action. The second whistle has officially blown and we are in action. Nice, oh. Looks like Lakeland's got lead jam on that one. Lakeland does have the lead jam, oh, absolutely. Barrel's struggling to get through. Shell bizzle for shizzle, your lead jammer. that first pass mm -hmm. got four points on that pass Lakeland racking up the points on this particular jam absolutely oh her second pass she's made another four points shell bizzle for shizzle doing work right here in this particular jam Making it look easy, but of course her teammates aren't to credit for that. The jam has been officially called off. I think you know, that's the the, uh, the most they've scored so far tonight on that jam. I want to say it's got to be at least six, six, maybe even seven. And that was definitely their best jam of the night, no question. We'll see exactly what uh, Lakeland has picked up here. Nice. 38-15. Thank you. Now you're, I was blocked by the referee there momentarily. 38-15 to 15 is your score. Vero Beach ahead. That was actually, like we just said, a very, oh, very good jam. Eye candy on the line. Nice. For Lakeland. Eye candy ahead again. Uh, she didn't get lead jam, though. She must have back blocked. All right. That good. gives Lakeland a chance to get lead jam. Good it point, like Kitty. She's going on the outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she got it. But here's eye candy right on her hind end, yep. coming up on her. This is Lakeland's second pass through, and eye candy's third. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's out of bounds. Oh, they didn't call it. They didn't call it. Wow. As you know, it's up to the ref's discretion, and whatever they see and don't see. Is exactly what they claim to call. Some referees let things go, some don't. It's kind of one of those things in roller derby. It depends on the ref you get. Oh, it looks like eye candy got caught on tripping. That means Lakeland's the only one that's got a jammer in the box. This is a basically called a power jam for mm -hmm. Lakeland. It means she's the only jammer on the floor that can score points at this point. Let's see if Lakeland can take advantage of this power jam. Mm -hmm. Rack up a few more points. Coming on the outside. Oh, a wall oh. has been formed. Oh. Shot it to oh, kill got called on track cutting. Absolutely. Yeah, that means Vero's. There. That means that means eye candy goes. You cannot have two jammers in the box at the same time. So basically what happens is being that the Lakeland jammer, oh, the jam was called because it's been two minutes. But basically what happens is since the Lakeland jammer went to the box, that means that eye candy gets to come out from Vero. And the Lakeland jammer only sits in that box as long as eye candy was in there before. So if eye candy was in there for 30 seconds, that means Lakeland jammer only has to serve for 30 seconds. So now, right now, Vero's got the only jammer out on the floor. Lakeland's jammer's in the box. So this could be a good power jam for Bash and Carry right here for Vero. Mm -hmm. See, oh, that was nice. Bash and Carry. Yep. yep. Coming right in. Yep. yep. Lead jam. Piece of cake. The jam now belongs to Vero Beach, as Kitty just said. 
This is a power jam, people. Vero trying to take full advantage. Bash and Carey fighting away through the pack. Lakeland trying to put up a wall and of defense. Nice and job. look at that. Rip through it like nice. tissue paper. Bash and Carey with the lead jam. All right, Lakeland's jammer's back out now. Yep. Lakeland. See, Carey can take it. She can take those hits. Shot nice it to job. kill you right now. Ain't got nothing on Bash and Carey. And she made that look so very easy, Kitty. Yes, Just going right through the Lakeland defense like they weren't even there. Lightning mm -hmm. quick and great maneuverability for Bash and Carey. Yeah, she definitely took advantage of that power jam. Absolutely. For you kids at home who want to jam when you get older, if you saw what Bash and Carey just did just then, that is the way to jam. Right now the score is 41 to, it's updating as I speak, folks, 41 to 26, Vero Beach. Actually 46 to 26 now. Vero Beach ahead of Lakeland, so up by 20, 46 to 26. Got both jammers Beach, on the line. Nobody in the box. Ahead of Lakeland. Like Kitty said, no one in the box right now as we begin this next jam. Second whistle is blown. Your jam is official. All right, here comes Lakeland on the outside. Oh, she's hit on the outside. Oh, wall it up. Looks like Vero's struggling. Oh, and Vero got wow. her down. Uh, oh. Definitely one of our uglier jams thus far. It looks like Lakeland's jammer's going to the box. Yep. Looks like Vero Beach has got the only jammer on the floor. Oh, she's been hit out of bounds. Whoa. Dixie Chopper is now in the box for Lakeland. Oh, still struggling to get through. Oh, nice. Go down on one knee. Got to get up quick. Lakeland's doing a good job here on this particular end of the jam. Looks like Lakeland's learned how to wall up, though. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. We're going three wide here. Yeah. As we come around the corner, very smart on behalf of Lakeland. Oh, she made it through. Oh. She got lead jam. Lassassin breaks her way through to get lead jam for Vero Beach. That wall was good there for yeah. Lakeland for a while, but that particular time it gave up and Lassassin was able to break through it. Yeah, as a jammer, you got to wait for them to make their mistakes, and they mm -hmm. made it. She got through. All right, here comes Vero's other blockers that were in the box. Oh, and the jam's called. The jam is officially off. The jam is officially off. It is called off. You know, Kitty, it's so important, and like we were talking about earlier with the daylight, that you can give people, you know, certainly if a jammer is coming up behind you, and like you just said, roller derby is one of those sports. Any little mistake that you make, especially sometimes, even if it's just that space between you and your fellow teammate, is just enough of a mistake for that jammer to take advantage of to all of a sudden rack up some points. So you got to be careful, obviously, when you're out there. You got to know exactly where your teammate is at all times. Oh yeah, and and it's definitely it's all about the walls you can create. Just that little, just see that eye candy got through just on that little inch. Perfect that one example. little, yeah, that right there, <laughs> As right Kitty in front and I of were us. just discussing yep. it, how ironic. Yeah. Eye candy shows us how to take advantage of a mistake from the other team. You notice too how she uses her blockers too to help her get through. That was very nice. Mm -hmm. Not only is it their job to knock down the, ooh, nice hit. Yep. She's stealing that real estate, making sure she gets behind her. It was a nice job on her part. Absolutely. Shell Bizzle for Shizzle, who had just gone down. About a minute yeah. or so ago. That's her first pass through. It's now, yep. This is eye candy third pass, third eye pass candy. through. Oh, knocks her out of the way. Eye candy gets by her, goes nice off the chair. Another great skate for eye candy. Here 
We've got about eight minutes, 20 seconds left here. Nice, 10 point jam 10 for point Vero. jam for Vero. So now our score will be 57 to 30. Vero Beach 57, Lakeland 30. Just a little over eight minutes to go. The second whistle is blown. The jam has officially begun. Oh, Bash and Carey trying to get through. Look at that wall. Oh, they missed Lakeland on the outside. She got lead jam. Oh, wow. So there you have yeah, it. Shot it to oh, kill you. Nice job, Carey. The lead jam. Bash and Carey trying to catch up on her. Here comes Bash. She better keep her feet moving. Here comes Bash. Right on her. Bash oh, and right, right on the through tail. like it's nothing. Wow. Shot Here comes to Bash, kill you. catching up on her. Here she comes. I don't no. even think the jammer sees her. No, I, I don't think Shot it to kill her really notices right now. The Bash and Carry is right behind her. You're oh, right. Bash just passed her. Bash. Nice. All right, so the jam is officially called off. Yeah, you got to watch where those jammers are, especially when they're fast like that. Bash and Carry's fast. You always got to know where she's at. She caught right up to her. Mm -hmm. She probably should have called it off just a couple seconds earlier because I believe Bash got three points on that one. It's a very good point, Kitty. Absolutely. That was an opportunity right there for Shada to kill you to have called that off when she was, of course, lead jammer, but such was not the case. 62-35 now is your score. Vero Beach in front. Six and a half to go now in this. Oh, Dixie Chopper, half. lead jam. Dixie Chopper right now, your lead jammer. Now, how was Dixie able to do that, Kitty? She, they made a mistake. <laughs> ah, they made a mistake. Once again, kids. They, yeah. yeah. You they cannot didn't afford. See her coming on that inside. Nope. You cannot oh, afford to nice. make too many mistakes. Nice, look at that. Kelly. Yeah, nice. nice Got move. her jammer through, too. Assassin now. With Dixie Chopper right behind her, but Dixie yeah. Chopper calls it off. She was your lead jammer. So this jam is officially over. Got 5.43 left in the first half. Eye candy on the line again. 65-39, Vero Beach in front right now with five and a half to go in the first half. Shot up to Killa and eye candy. Oh, nice. Nice hit, oh, nice. right out of bounds, there, nice yeah. job. Shot up to Killa, couldn't candy get by that jam. time. But eye candy certainly gets by, as she always does, it seems. Oh. Shada to kill you had a lot of difficulty oh, getting by nice that block. skate around. Oh, looks like eye candy got put in the box. I missed that one. I missed that too, huh. Kitty. Must not have been for cutting the track, maybe. I'm not sure. I yeah, missed it. Not quite sure. So basically, right now, that means that there's no lead jam. So this will be a jam that will skate the whole two minutes. Oh, actually, the ref is holding her up as lead jam. Hmm, I'm confused. <laughs> Can get confusing sometimes. But it's quite all right, Kitty. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like they're giving her lead jam. Mm -hmm. I thought Eye Candy had it before, but she must have been called on cutting the track. I did too. Yeah, I don't think some people realize just how elaborate of a sport roller derby really and truly is. There are a lot of things going on, Kitty. Oh, yeah. And you need to pay attention, absolutely. Yeah. Looks like she's getting through again. Looks like, Vera, oh, Vera's got her out of bounds. All right, this jam is officially over. Shot of Tequila had called it off. The jam is called off. Looks like Vera's jammer is still in the box. All 
And now we got about three and a half to go here in this first half. We're, of course, at the Skate Factory in Vero Beach, Florida. The home team, Vero Beach, up 65 to 47 at this point. Looks like they're calling a timeout. I believe so. Bo Decker, who, of course, is a coach for the Lakeland team, the Rockabilly Rebels, has called a timeout. At least we believe that to be a timeout. Yeah, timeout. She could have been doing the chicken dance, but yeah. I think that was a timeout. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like uh, Vero Beach's jammer standing, so it probably won't be long till she, it won't be long till she's out of the box. And then you got one blocker for Vero that's in the box as well. Actually, it looks like two blockers in the box. That will be an interesting time to uh, call a timeout. Yeah. If you're Lakeland. This could be a really good opportunity for Lakeland to score a lot of points. The only jammer on the floor. So she's got to be quick getting through the pack. Mm -hmm. Oh, Matt, not quick enough because here comes eye candy. That's right. Eye candy just stormed off that bench oh, as this jam is officially Lakeland begun. Lakeland went through like nothing, got lead jam. Shell Bizzle for shizzle. Oh, doing work wow. to be your lead jammer. There she comes on the inside. Oh, she's going on the outside. Back inside oh. into the middle and in front. Yeah, she got through. Shell Bizzle for shizzle. Going from the outside, back comes inside. Eye candy trying to get some points here as well. Oh, I can a hard time. Yeah, I can't be having some difficulty. Lakeland playing some good D here at this point. I can't even nice jam. Job. Wow. wow, broke through that wall. She in sure a jam. Does, she sure does make it look easy. Absolutely, but in a jam, during a jam, how ironic. She squeezed her way through that one. Now that right there is definitely one of those things you need to pay attention to, kids at home, if you're watching this. If you noticed, eye candy was squeezed between two of the Lakeland blockers and they had her sandwiched at that point like they were not going to let her get by and yet still she had enough to muster up the energy and the strength to squeeze through both of those blockers to get in front on that particular jet. That was awesome, yeah, Kitty. So she can't, you know, you can't let her get her skate through like that. Once she gets her skate through, it's over. Absolutely. Oh, here comes Master Kate making it look easy. Wow. Lee Jam. Oh, nice hit on Aster. That was a nice hit. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's the first time that Master Kate has jammed tonight. She's looking good. Oh. Oh, looks like Master Kate got caught on back blocking. Looks like she's going to the box. Yes, she is. Yep. Penalty has been served here. 52 seconds left. Yep. Time is winding down. Yes, about 40 seconds to go now. 69. 56 is your score. The only jammer on the floor. As Kitty just said, Lakeland with the only jammer. Vero Beach in front with 30 seconds to go. 69-56. Your second whistle has blown, and this jam is official. Here comes Lakeland, coming on the outside. Oh, I don't know if the Vero, oh, she got by. Lead jam. Yes, she did. The lead jam now does belong to Lakeland. She's got a power jam going on here. That's Cam Ram, chaos, by the way, in Here's front. Lakeland slowing down, giving their jammer a chance to catch up. Mm -hmm. They don't want the jammer to work too hard. Now, even though the time has elapsed, the jam's gonna continue till it's over. Nice job, she got through again. Here we go, Cam Ram chaos. Causing chaos for Vero wow. right now. Making, and she is ahead by. Making the, making the uh, yep. score a little closer. Absolutely. Here she comes again. Oh, nice. Wow, they take her down. Down goes Chaos, but she calls off the jam in the process. Wow, this will be interesting to see how many points she got on this. Absolutely. She looks like she hit her mouth 
something hit her mouth, whether it was someone well, I hope she didn't hit it on the floor, but it does look as if she hit it on, or hit her mouth on something. Eight point jam, by the way. 68-64, it sounds like they're saying. Backing up the eight points right there, making this now a very, very close match at the half. It is officially halftime, of course, here at the Skate Factory in Vero Beach, Florida. 69 to 64, Vero Beach is your score. Lakeland, of course, coming back and that final jam before the half to rack up eight points to close this score now to within five as we speak, 69 to 64. Like I said, Vero Beach over Lakeland right now at the half here at the Skate Factory in Vero Beach, Florida. What an amazing half, boy. I mean, a, a lot going on, but one of the things you saw that we knew we would see, and that is some outstanding jamming, of course, by oh, Eye yeah. Candy, which, you know, let's face it, she's a huge star for this Vero Beach team, so you kind of expect that, but wow, some great skating on behalf of Eye Candy. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. And, you know, and it's nice that she's got Bash and Carey following behind her, too, and, you know, it's, it's they've definitely got some good skaters, some good jammers, so it's going to be a close bout. It'll be good. Oh, here comes my South Florida girls across the floor. <laughs> 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 there they go. I tell you what, folks, this is halftime here, like I said, at the Skate Factory in Vero Beach, Florida. Once again, it is 69 to 64, Vero Beach in front of Lakeland. We will be back right after this. Whatever you do, don't go anywhere. There's more action to come. Stay with us.